Hello everyone, my name is Serenax and in this video I will be showing you how you can boost your frame rate in Minecraft Java Edition. So a lot of you guys have been asking me how do I get this high frame rate in Minecraft Java Edition on my computer. This is the Nitro 5 which features um, the i5 9300H processor and also the GTX 1050. And I know that the GTX 1650 is the more popular GPU found on this machine. Uh, which is around 35-40% to 40 more powerful than my GDX 1050 so your performance should be even better um, and in today's video we will find out why your performance of this laptop is just worse and why you're not getting that many frames for most of you guys the problem is that your GPU is not fully utilized even if you do have a really great GPU it's just not fully utilized because Minecraft is just a little bit older, older game and it's not as demanding as some other newer titles so your GPU is not fully utilized and this is the reason, the main reason why you get this low frame rate Alright, so we're currently on my desktop and the first thing that you need to do is to just go into the program by the name of MSI Afterburner uh, This is the, the way that the program looks like If you don't really have the program yet installed Make sure to just go into the link down below in the description to get this program. Um, this allows you to just control all of your uh, GPU components and hardware and also to monitor the things that are utilized on your PC while you're playing games. So Now once you have the program installed and everything is ready to be used, you have to go into your settings and to the monitor tab. And as you can see in the monitor tab, I can select the things that I want to monitor while I'm playing games. So here I can have selected the GPU temperature, GPU usage. The GPU usage is the uh, most important thing for this tutorial now uh, because my problem was that the GPU was not fully utilized and uh, you know, you just need to have it checked. And also you can just select the uh, CPU temperature as well as the CPU usage. And now the RAM usage and frame rate if you want. Make sure this is all set on OSD, which states for on-screen display. And once you see that everything looks fine, you just need to click on apply and OK. And now you want to go into your Minecraft, so let's go and click on the Minecraft launcher. And what we want to do now is to make sure that the uh, Riva Tuner program that allows you to monitor all kind of stuff related to your computer is just working in the background here in the tray icon you can just see the program running in the background i uh, can just click on that and adjust your uh, settings of this indicator uh, so make sure that it is working in the background here in the tray icon and now once we know that all of it is just working the right way uh, let's go ahead and open up the minecraft so and the first thing that I recommend you to do is to download the Optifine version of Minecraft. Optifine is a mod that allows you to add uh, some sort of a shader, some features, and it also boosts your FPS a little bit, so make sure that the Optifine is selected. And now let's click on play. Let's go ahead and open the world. So this is how it all looks like, uh, we're currently in the game and as you can see I'm getting like uh, a constant 60 FPS right now, maybe not a constant because there's also some kind of a dips. And when you just take a look at the left upper corner you see that the uh, GPU is just utilized only in 20%, even less than 20. Um, even though I'm getting 60 FPS because it's a really great GPU. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is to lower my chunks, so uh, let's go to the options and video settings and I want to uh, change the render distance chunks to 8, like that. Now we have the VSync option which matches the hertz of your display to the frame that you're getting in the game, so I want to be set to unlimited because this way we will just boost our frames and we won't be bottlenecking our GPU because we want it to be working with the 100%. Now let's go to the quality. Mm, I think we can leave this as it is now. And now let's go to the performance. 
in the performance tab you can just select the fast render option which helps you to render the next chunks so let's click on this and also the fast math which uses the um, cosinus and sinus functions which can better utilize the CPU cache and increases the FPS so let's click on this now let's go back into the game and as you can see I get a way better frame rate I get a, like 100 frames per second now which helps me a lot uh, as you can see our GPUs just realized at something around uh, 38 40 percent so, yeah the game is just performing way better now uh, as you can see I get a constant 144 over 100 FPS which is fine but um, to make this game look a little bit better you can also use some shaders and I'll just show you the performance of my computer now with the shaders on so let's go into the um, this is the soldiers vibrant shaders that I'm gonna be using now in this video and as you can see the game looks way better now and I get like something around 60 50 FPS and and my GPU is just utilized at 100% 19 95 90 uh, 7 something like this so and if the previous steps didn't work for you what I recommend you to do is to just go into your Nvidia panel settings in order to do this just right click on desktop and as you can see here we have the Nvidia control panel you have to adjust the adjust image settings to these settings so, so just slide this uh, slider into the performance instead of the quality and now let's go to the manage 3d settings and you just want to copy all of my settings to make sure that you're getting the same um, actual performance that I do have on this laptop and also make sure that you have selected the high performance NVIDIA processor instead of the integrated graphics so once everything is done fine you have to just click on apply and you're ready to go And these are basically the settings that I've been using previously in my previous video about Minecraft Java edition. And yeah, this is how it looks like. As you can see, the settings work for me fine. And I hope that this will help you out for sure as well. And that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash the like button and see you in the next video. See you guys.